this morning for you. The head of the Maui Emergency Management Agency has resigned after being heavily criticized for not activating disaster sirens during last week's wildfire response, citing health reasons. Maui's mayor accepting the resignation of Herman Andea, saying it's effective immediately. The wildfires started August 8th and have killed at least 111 people now, including children, largely in the area of the town of Lahaina on Maui's west coast. Officials say most of the burn zones are still being searched. Hawaii has what it proclaims as the largest system of outdoor alert sirens in the world. They are generally used for tsunamis. The system was created after the 1946 tsunami and the website says they may be used to alert for fires. Maui's website. It's explained here as to why it was decided that those shouldn't be used for the wildfires. Sirens, as I had mentioned earlier, is used primarily for tsunamis, and that's the reason why many of them are found, almost all of them are found, on the coastline. The public is trained to seek higher ground in the event that the siren is sounded. In fact, on the website of the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, the following guideline is provided. If you are in a low-lying area near the coastline, evacuate to high grounds, inland or vertically to the fourth floor and higher of a concrete building. Alerts may also come in the form of a wireless emergency alert. Had we sounded the siren that night, we we're afraid that people would have gone Malka. Malka is a Hawaiian term for on the mountainside of the road. Hawaii's Attorney General says an outside organization will conduct an impartial and independent review into the government's response to the fires. The investigation could take months.